I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. I love to shop, love jackets, wallets, makeup, jewelry. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. So your debt will cost you almost $54,000 in interest. $760. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. Oh, these are beautiful. Isn't that cute? Taxi! No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Julie. My name is Julie, and I'm 40 years old. I've been in the hospitality industry all my life. Adrian, do you have any fresh kiwis? I actually just switched jobs. I went from management to serving, where there is a lot more money. She makes an awful lot of cash money, but as fast as Julie makes it, Julie spends it. Julie's spending habits started early. When she was in public school, she would use her lunch money to go to school in a cab. Taxi! I love to shop. Love jackets, shoes, belts, bags, wallets, makeup. Makeup is a bad one for me. $500 a month on makeup, jewelry, watches, earrings. <laughs> I've never seen her in the same clothes twice. I like to go to the spa. I get my hair professionally done. I get my nails done probably once every two weeks. Every few years, she digs herself a deep hole of debt. And just as regularly, she turns to her parents to bail her out. I think that Julie is a 40-year-old child. She has run up credit cards. We've paid them off, and she just doesn't seem to know how to manage. I think I can do it myself. And I get to the point where I'm so frustrated that the tears just start to flow. She gets stressed out quite easily, and maybe quite conveniently, too. I'm not sure. I'm an emotional spender. When I'm happy, I like to spend. When I'm depressed, I like to spend. It's just an addiction. There you are. Thank you. Addiction or not, Julie's spending obsessions put her future in jeopardy. Waitressing at 40, I don't know how long that's going to last for her. I'm worried about the fact that she is getting older. Someday, the younger ones are going to take her position, and she's got nothing to do after that. Retirement? I don't think she has thought of retirement or the fact that age is going to creep up on her. That's 25 years away. <laughs> At 40 years old, Julie doesn't have a lot of time to fix this problem, and her friends and family know it, so they've agreed to cut her off. This is basically her last chance. It's time for this princess to wake up. How old are you? 40. <laughs> and your daddy's little girl still? I am, sadly. He's still bailing you out? Isn't it embarrassing having your father bail you out at 40 years old? It certainly is, but I'm making this the last time. You're carrying an enormous balance on your I credit am. card. I had just racked up the credit card again. How long did it take you to do the latest rack up? I would say about a year and a half. You spent $19,000 in a year and a half on credit? I did. Let's listen to your stepmom. This has happened over and over again. Julie has a very difficult relationship to money. I don't think she can help herself. Julie is a spendaholic. I think she shops and shops and shops to fill what's missing in her heart. She hasn't found the right guy. Are you really waiting for Prince Charming? At one point, I was and realized that he wasn't really a true figure. Let's listen to what your dad has okay. to say. She flits from here to there. She doesn't really think of what the future holds for her. What's life going to be like in another 20 years? Oh, my God, should I say the word retirement to you? <laughs> I think that's a ways off. Does your father have any idea how far in debt you are right now? I don't think he realized how far in debt I was. Till when? Till probably about a month ago. Every week, I go to the bank and I deposit in the bank and my dad sees that. What do you mean your dad sees that? My dad has access to my bank account. That has to stop. Like, you're not his baby girl anymore. I know. Since she left home 20 years ago, this princess has relied on her family for financial support. But now it's time for Julie to grow up and for her dad to finally let go. Up until a short while ago, Larry, you had absolutely no idea how much debt your daughter was in again. Again. Right? And here she has almost $20,000 worth of debt. I see. 
you have a credit card at almost $17,000 paying almost 20% interest. Of every current payment you're making of $364, 280 is going just, just to, the interest. to interest. How many months will it take you to pay it off? Is that 200 months? That's what that is. It's only 16 years. 16 years? Good Lord, I'm going to be 60 by the time I pay this off. That's not good. So your $17,000 debt will cost you almost $54,000 in interest. $760. Oh I'm really not chipping away as much as I thought I was. So that was kind of a big eye opener. Your savings, up until now, have been sweet diddly squat. Currently, you're spending 32% of your income on debt repayment. On your needs, which includes housing, food, phone, and cable, you're spending 63% of your income. Okay. And on your wants, you're spending 52% of your income. Okay. Add 52 and 63 and 32 and tell me what you get. 84. I have more than the actual pie chart here. Can you see why you've been going yes. into debt? That 52% of your income breaks into 350 on cabs and limos, $400 a month on restaurants, $500 a month on clothes, $600 a month on beauty. I saw certain things in her list which shocked me. So you were making approximately $38,000 a year based on the numbers that I saw. Yes. You would need to make $68,000 a year to live the way you yes. have been living. And if you wanted to get your debt paid off, you'd actually have to make $80,000 a year because you are using credit yes. to fill the gap mm -hmm. that you're going into debt to the tune of $1,800 a month. It's a mess. Right. In part, it's a mess because she's been able to count on daddy. What I would like her to do is I'd like her to assume all the responsibility for her own life at this point, okay? But you have to stay out of it. Perfect. You've got my commitment for that. Okay. And I need your commitment that you're gonna do whatever it takes to fix this problem. Okay. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna give you some challenges to do. I don't wanna hear any whining. Okay. I don't wanna hear any bitching. Okay. This is about taking control of your money and okay. your life. All right. If you do the challenges to my satisfaction, I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you meet one of your goals. Okay. You don't do the challenge, you have the wrong attitude, you don't get the money. Okay, let's do it. All right. First, we need to get you to stand on your own two feet. Then we need to get you living like a grown up. And then we need to stop you from living off other people's wallets. Coming up, Julie gets some surprising advice. Wow. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Julie enjoys a glamorous uptown lifestyle, but she recently hit the tender age of 40. I don't think she has thought of retirement or the fact that age is going to creep up on her. Her friends and family are tired of bailing her out, so they have agreed to cut her off. I've got six weeks to show Julie she can pay off her debts and save for retirement. If she succeeds at my challenges, I'll give her up to $5,000 to get her on her way. Thanks to her dad, Julie's the first princess I've worked with who has any significant assets. With close to $25,000 in investment, it looks like Julie's on the right track. But when you deduct her debt, her net worth is a measly $5,000. So I have a plan that may come as a surprise. So we come to your first challenge. Okay. It's your get real challenge. Okay. First of all, I want you to give me the debit card. It's gone. What do I want you to do with those credit cards? Cut them up. All right. You know what? It feels good. You are going on a cash diet. OK. For now, you will have $240 okay. for the week to live on. You have to make a budget. Your budget has to balance. And I'm going to be scoring you on how well you did in terms of the amount of detail you put into the budget. OK. The second part of the challenge is going to be harder. OK. Here's your problem. You're paying a ton of money in interest, but you are not earning anywhere near that on your investments. So you are going to sell those investments. When we sell those investments, you are going to pay off all your debt. You're going to take the remaining $5,000 and you're going to put that in an emergency fund. What surprised me the most is Gail wanting to actually sell the stocks that, that Julie has. We've eliminated the debt. OK. But now what you have to do is you have to put a lot of emphasis on saving for your future. 
We're gonna send you an expert who knows all about retirement planning. Really? Yeah, so that you get the very best advice That's going. So Julie, what age do you think you might plan to retire at? I'd like to retire by 60, 65. You still have 25 years, which is a really long time. You just may have to work a little harder and save a little more. If you live, let's say, to 85, so that really means that you're gonna need capital of about six hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars okay wow now <laughs> what we have to do next is look at how many years until you retire so i may be 90. you're past <laughs> with not retirement at 90. what does that translate to today on a monthly basis the answer is about 975 dollars a month <laughs> That seems like a big figure at first, but Julie would have paid over $1,000 a month to get rid of her consumer debt. Now that that debt's gone, she can put that cash towards building her retirement savings. Julie's worked hard on her budget, and now she wants to show her dad that she can manage to keep it all in the black. My rent is always going to be the same. Yes. Stuff like, you know, public transportation and cabs and stuff is way down. It's the $400 one? Uh, that's groceries. Groceries. Yeah. For you? Yeah. Alone? Is that for a month? Or a month. A month? Yeah. We don't spend that kind of money between the two of us And for a we month. eat very well and we entertain. Rome wasn't built in a day, people. <laughs> <laughs> Not having access to the bank account doesn't bother me one bit. But if she comes crying to me and says, I don't have any money. I'll say that's your problem, it's not my problem. Trusting me is gonna come kind of bit by bit and I think that maybe he's just realized that I can do it on my own. 250 a week, that's what you're living on? Yes. How does it feel? It feels very liberating to just use cash. Now I know dad's selling the stocks this week and you're gonna pay off the debt completely. Indeed. You will have about $5,000 left. That's the first deposit you're gonna make to your emergency fund. Okay. If your income is tip or commission based like Julie's, it's even more important to have a hefty emergency fund. There are bound to be periods when things get slow, and if you don't have some money, you'll end up using your credit just to pay the bills. Now, you met with a retirement planner, and I actually really learned a lot. Your daddy wanted to go to that meeting. He sure did. The first question he had when I told him I was going to see the specialist was, can I come? And I said, Dad, I think the point is that I need to go and do this alone. This is an exercise for me. So as much as I've relied on daddy, I think daddy's had a harder time than maybe he realized. By the age of 40, most people would have fulfilled some of their dreams. Julie's been so reckless with her money, she hasn't been able to make any of her dreams come true. I'm thinking I would like to go to Europe. I'm 40 years old, I've never been anywhere in Europe. So I want to take a trip to Europe. How realistic is this goal? Are you gonna go triple A or are you gonna go hostel? That will help to reduce your accommodation costs. I'm gonna send you to experience a hostel so that you can see what it's like. Okay. Coming up, Julie travels in style. I never even shared a bathroom when I was married. <laughs> oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. 40 year old Julie's lifelong habit of spending every penny she earns on makeup, clothes, that's a cute for New Year's, and beauty treatments has gotten her into trouble more than once. Now she's got a huge credit card debt, and I've told her dad to butt out. For the last two weeks, I've worked with Julie to get her paying off her debt, living on a budget, and working on a retirement savings plan. If she succeeds at all my challenges, she stands to gain up to $5,000, and that would go a long way towards her emergency fund. Oh, I've sent Julie off on a full day of backpacking through town before she hits the hostel to spend the night. Just to have a backpack on my back? I've never had that before. That's what I need to go around Europe with. Oh my God. I hope they have in-room massage at this place because my back's killing me. I guess I just want to know what your prices are and what you no, have probably. available. Well, look, well, we've got quads, which are like four people sharing a room. Mm. Then the dorms, which are between six and 10 oh people God. sharing a room. It's shared bathrooms. It's to what? Share with Share bathroom? <laughs> you have to share with everyone on the floor. I never even shared a bathroom when I was married. <laughs> okay. Where's the elevator? There better be some turn down service and a mint on my pillow when I get up there. Oh my God, bunk beds. I haven't there seen that since go. I was a kid. I think the rooms aren't really up to kind of my standard. I'm 
sorry to say. Just looks like two urinals. This one's a bathroom, this one's a shower. The bathrooms were really alarming to me. You know, kind of from the way she was dressed in the small little backpack, that she wasn't quite, uh, quite the usual customer. I saw this movie Hostel, where they were stealing people's organs while they were sleeping. Does that happen? Please tell me no. OK, so that's far-fetched, right? Could you see me doing something like this, though? Yeah. yeah. I'm 40. You that think I could do matters. it? Yeah. What about the princess factor? You think that's going to matter? That'll I'll change? That'll change? change. Yeah. I think I'd have to find a happy medium between a hostel and a Hilton. Have you sold the stock? Of course. And is the debt paid off? It is. How does that feel? It is so great. Want to hear what your next challenge is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is your give back challenge. You're going to okay. take some young ladies who are also shopaholics. Ooh. And you're going to help coach them through what you have learned. That sounds great. So I'll see you next week? Yes. Julie's kicked the emotional spending habit cold turkey. So I've sent her to guide some princesses in training during a shopaholic support group. She has 20 years of, you know, these experiences. I think she has a significant amount to offer them. My name is Julie. I'd like to say that I am a shopaholic that is now in recovery. I was $19,000 in debt, no savings. Nothing for retirement, nothing, not one penny. When I looked at it, I felt very foolish. Going to my father the third, fourth, fifth time, and now at 40 when I really should know better was, um, I mean, it was really embarrassing for me. It really was. I think a lot of them, by the end of it, really identified some of their emotional issues and why they were doing what they were doing. Having my parents give me anything I wanted as a child, I think definitely that really, um, that really played a big role. Just admitting to yourself you have a problem and providing yourself with limits. And I think that's what I'm most gonna take away from this. But as with any addiction, the road to recovery can be a steep one. So I challenged her to help a shopaholic spend less. With a raging shopaholic on her hands, Julie's going to have to work hard to rein Stephanie in. And things got off to a good start. Oh, that one. 3.15. Oh, put that down. But by store two, Julie's influence wavered. Oh, this is a cute. Oh, right over to the sparkle. This is really cute. That is cute. Yep. And it's my size. Perfect. I'm trying on that orange skirt, which I really like. So what do you think? Are you going to get that, or is that maybe? You are going to wear this for sure, for yeah. sure? Your grand total comes to 197 and 72. One, two. Oh, I didn't see this. Never mind. And as the afternoon wore on, Julie started to get sucked in. 1999. Look how That's cute. really cute. Isn't that cute? Can I borrow 20 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try on that dress. For $20? Do it. I think it's a great. I mean, look at that. $20. Might be one of the best deals I ever, ever made. Is Julie about to break down and forget everything I've taught her? I don't know. What do you think? It's cute. Yeah. For 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. I'm almost thinking if I don't get it, I'm going to be mad at myself. Well, I'm getting the sweater and the leggings because I need it. And you need a dress, so I think you should get that too. I don't know. Now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, although I love it and it's only 20 bucks, I think I might leave it behind. Wow. You know what? It's 20 bucks I didn't need to spend if I didn't really, really need it. And Julie wasn't the only one who succeeded at this challenge. Stephanie cut back two. 250 bucks, I think you did pretty well. Yeah, I'm very pleased. Her spending half her budget was a pretty fair compromise. Coming up. All right, so let's talk about some of the things you did over the past six weeks. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Julie has come a long way in the last six weeks. She's learned to live on a budget, put aside some money for her retirement, and Julie spent some time mentoring younger shopaholics. Starting to take my future a little more seriously. Before I reveal my final decision, I want to check in with Julie's dad. What do you think the biggest change has been? Probably a feeling of confidence. Are you surprised? I am sort of surprised, because I never thought that she would follow through on it. Yeah. I know that she's enjoyed it, and you've opened her eyes tremendously. Good. Julie, my love, come. Princess Julie. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, 
Do you think you made progress this month? I think I did really well. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did really well too. So, you know, it was kind of touch and go on that last challenge because when you almost bummed that money mm -hmm. and went shopping, I thought to myself, okay, she's going to totally blow it. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Let's talk about some of the things you did over the past six weeks. Okay. You made a budget. You got your debt paid off. Yeah. Have you done anything in the way of opening up a retirement plan and making regular monthly contributions to that? Yes. She gave me the tools of what to do and how to do it. So if you are going to pay tax this year, yes. then using a retirement plan that has a tax benefit attached to it makes perfect sense. Absolutely. So what I'd like to see you do over the next little while is make sure that you stay on track with the things that you have learned. Yes, okay? absolutely. Particularly when things get tough, mm -hmm. because you have a tendency when things get tough to use the shopping as your emotional bomb. Right. But your eyes have been opened big time, and I think you are in a whole different place than when I first met oh, you. Oh, yes. I'm very pleased. I think you have done a great job. Thank and you. And so I have for you $5,000. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what, Gail? I have something for you. <laughs> Is this your zero balance? If you notice, <gasps> I'm actually minus 300. I overpaid. <laughs> big weight off your shoulders? Very big weight off my yeah. shoulders. Did you think you'd live to see this? That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I don't feel like a little girl anymore. It was such a great experience for me. Judy had the utmost respect for Gail. She enjoyed going through the projects, and she learned a lot. And I think Gail was responsible for a lot of that. I've learned so much about myself, and every relationship that I have has become better. I don't want it to, I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go. Shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.